Hello and welcome back to In the Kitchen with Matt. I am your host, Matt Taylor. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to process acorns so you can eat them, and also show you how to make an acorn flour. Now, acorns themselves, you can't just eat them raw right from the tree. They contain a lot of uh, a bitterness called these tannins, and you need to leach those tannins out in order to make the acorns edible. Acorns have been eaten for thousands of years, and they're not as common nowadays, at least here in the United States and other parts of the world. Um, but there are some people that still eat them quite regularly. And uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to process them. Um, there's a couple different methods on how you can do this. Um, and I'm gonna show you just one of those uh, methods. And I will briefly mention how you do the other method. Pretty easy to do. If I can do it, you can do it. Let's get started. So first, you need to gather some acorns. Now, these are acorns from a live oak tree. There are a variety of oak trees out there. Uh, common ones here in the United States are the uh, red oak and the white oak trees. And those acorns are gonna look a little bit different. They're gonna be bigger than these. Um, live oak trees are very common here in Arizona in the urban areas um, because the trees themselves are fairly drought uh, tolerant and they're also um, pretty good at heat resistance. And so what you do is just go ahead and go out in the wild or go forage around in the, <laughs> in the streets in your community and pick up acorns. I literally had to go one mile to find these acorns. So what you're gonna wanna do is first of all, you're gonna wanna throw away any ones that might be cracked. Like this is cracked. If you can see that, anything that's cracked, you're gonna throw those away. And you'll go through, rummage around. If you find any, like this one, I can move it around and it's very like, the nut inside wiggles around really easy. I know that that one's bad. And sometimes you'll find one with a little hole in it and that's uh, usually due to a weevil. I don't know if I have any of those. And then also, what you're gonna wanna do, since these have been in the dirt or they were on the tree and you picked them off, um, they're gonna be dirty probably. So we're gonna start with some water. And then one thing you'll notice is if you have any acorns that are floating at the top, those are gonna be bad as well. So let's get rid of those. And you can just take out the leaves really easy. And then you just go in there with your hands and you can just kind of rinse these acorns off just to get them nice and clean. And then you can let them soak for 10, 15 minutes just enough to get them nice and clean. Once they are all clean, what we're gonna do is we're going to dump out the water. And so we just have the acorns and then we're gonna dry those acorns. And you can just dump them out like in a colander to help get mo most of the moisture off of them. And then you're, you're just gonna take them on like some paper towel or you could use um, just any towels really. And we're just gonna go ahead and dry these real quick. And then what we're gonna do, just take a sheet pan. And we'll lay them out. And now I'm gonna go ahead and do that with the rest of the acorns. And now once we have them all in our sheet pan, we're gonna go ahead and set this out, out like in the yard where it's nice and sunny. And we're gonna let the sun um, just kind of dry these out further. You don't always need to do that, especially if the acorns have been on the ground for a little while in the sun. Um, they're probably dry enough, but especially if they're fresh and you just picked them off the tree, then you want to let them sit in the sun. It just makes them a little easier to crack open and to get the, the meat, the nut meat, outside of the shell. So let me put these in the sun. Some people will say to do it all day. Uh, totally up to you. All right, once our acorns have dried in the sun, now the fun part, or the very tedious part, and that is getting the, uh, the acorn nut out of the shell. Uh, there's a variety of ways that you can do it. The way I do it is I just use my, my meat grinder. <laughs> and then what I'll do is, since this takes a while, is I'll just sit in front of the TV, and then I'll crack a bunch of these, um, just by taking it and going like that. Okay, just give it a nice good whack. And then it opens, splits it. And then inside, is you'll find the nut. 
And if you need to like smash it even further, um, you can do that. It's okay if you totally demolish the nut. And then you're just gonna come in here and, and peel it apart. And then you wanna take that meat out. And sometimes I'll use a knife and just kind of go in there carefully so I don't cut myself and just take the meat out, okay? So there you go, nice little piece of acorn meat. And depending on the type of acorn, it'll look a little different. And then you put it into a bowl with cold water. So you can see how this would take a little while to do depending on your variety of acorn. Um, some of these take a, a while. Nice piece of acorn meat. Okay, so that's pretty much what you do. I'll grab another one. And uh, so that one I smashed really well. <laughs> and it's gonna be a lot easier to get it out. See how much easier that was? So it just depends on how you smash it. And you can just pull it apart a little bit, throw it into your bowl of water, keep going. Okay, now I wanna show you something that you want to try to um, remove if possible. Inside the acorn shells, there's this thin little uh, piece of the shell and sometimes it attaches itself to the meat like this or to the nut and you wanna take that off as much as you can because that contains a lot, a lot of the tannin in there. And so take that off if you can. It's okay if there's a tiny bit on there, um, but re remove, a much, remove as much of that as possible. But there you go. So you just do that with the rest of the acorns. And like I said, I'll usually sit in front of the TV for a few hours, three or four hours and just crack a bunch of them at once, and then peel them apart, put them in the bowl. Here you can see my bowl of water. Put them in your bowl. So I'll go to that step and show you what we do next. All right, and when you have all of your acorn uh, meat or the nuts inside a, a bowl of water, you'll probably have some little floaters of uh, little pieces of the shell. Just go ahead and use a spoon and get those out. So you have something like that. And then now what, I, now what we wanna do is I'm gonna fill up some more water until we'll, eh, we're almost to the top. And then we're gonna just let this sit overnight. And then I will show you what it looks like overnight, okay? So that is one method. So pretty much how that process works is you let it set, sit in cold water overnight. And then in the morning, what you're gonna do, I'll show you what it looks like in the morning. We're gonna drain the water that's in here and replace it with more cold water. And then in the evening, we'll do the same thing. We'll drain the water and replace it with more water. And we're gonna do that for somewhere between five and seven days until it doesn't taste bitter at all. And then it's ready to get, go to the next stage. Now, we could skip that whole week of soaking and pouring, soaking and pouring um, with a method, which is the boiling water method. And what that entails is you have two pots of water on the stove um, and you have one boiling water, you put your meat um, in there or your nut meat in there and you'll boil it until the water gets dark and then you'll pour that water out and transfer the acorn meat into another bowl or another pot that has boiling water and then you'll keep going back and forth between the two uh, pots of boiling water replacing the empty water and then bring that to a boil and you just keep going back and forth, transferring the acorn meat back and forth until the water comes clear, becomes clear. And that takes about an hour, hour and a half. The boiling method tends not to be as good if you wanna make a flour out of the, the meat. So I always just do the, the cold water method. I don't mind taking the extra few days to do it. Not a big deal. All right, I'll show you what it looks like after it's soaked for a while. All right, the next morning, look how dark yellowish brown the water is. That's tannins that have been leached out of the acorns. Um, so what I need to do now is empty out the water and then replace it with new fresh water. And then I'll show you what that looks like. I replace the water and then as you do that, the water that you pour in there will probably agitate the acorns a bit and it'll reveal more little pieces of skin or whatever from the shell. Just go ahead and use a spoon and take those out. And if you miss some, don't worry about it. You just get it next time. And then I'll go ahead and let this sit till this evening and then I'll 
repeat the process, empty the water, fill up the water with cold water again, and then let it sit overnight. And we're gonna repeat that process until day five, six, or seven, and then we'll go on to the next step from there. All right, after about five to seven days of letting the acorn soak and changing the water, it'll get to the point where the water is pretty clear like this, and now we'll do a little taste test and see if it's bitter. So go ahead and empty out the water. And you will also notice that your acorns may have turned like a little bit like brownish or grayish, and that is totally okay. So then just go ahead and pick a piece up and taste it. And if it tastes bland without any bitterness, then it's ready to go. And you'll also notice if you find any that have these little shells on them, kind of like a little dark shell on there, you're gonna want to uh, remove as much of that as possible. Like I said, this is a fairly, can be a tedious process, but it's really fun to process your own acorns. All right, now what we need to do is we need to uh, dry this out and kind of roast it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a, a sheet pan, and I just have a silicone mat on here, but you can put parchment paper down or you don't even really need one. And then we're gonna empty out our acorn meats or acorn nuts. And then just go ahead and spread it out. And don't be alarmed if you miss one or two of those little shells. Okay, and then we're gonna put this in the oven and set the oven to like the warm setting. So no higher than like 175, 180 degrees. So at the warm setting for about 45 minutes. And then we'll come back and stir it and put it back in there for 45 minutes. Stir it and we'll do that until it becomes nice and dry. But the caveat here is I am not going to close my oven door completely. I'm gonna put in a wooden spoon so the door doesn't shut completely. And the reason why you want to do that is the steam, when this dries, it'll allow that to release out of the oven. You don't want it to get super um, humid inside your oven. All right, so let's do that. Let's dry out these acorns. All right, I just took the acorns out of the oven. This was the first time. And what you wanna do, just kinda touch it with your fingers and see how dry it is. Still pretty damp. Let's just move it around a little bit. You'll probably see some little water streaks. That's to be expected. All right, and then back in the oven for 45 minutes. All right, after drying it out in the oven, nice and dry, you might be able to see that the color changed a little bit more. That's totally fine. Now at this point, it's ready to eat. Like you could just salt it and put some other uh, dry seasonings on there and just eat it like that but we wanna make a flour out of this. So we need to grind it up into a powder. And for that, I am going to use my food processor. One reason why I like using this uh, silicone mat is it makes it really easy just to help get the nuts inside here, but just grab it with your hands or with a spoon or whatever. Make sure your hands are clean if you're gonna be touching it. Or I could just take it up and my silicone mat here. And just pour it in. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use my food processor and uh, grind this up. And it makes pretty short work of the <laughs> acorn nuts, um, but you wanna turn it on for about 30 seconds to a minute All right, take a look. That looks great. Nice fine powder. And then what I'll normally do is take like a little piece of Tupperware that has a lid, and then I will pour my acorn flour in there. Look at that nice flour. And then this nice flour is ready to be used in your muffins, in your pancakes, in your breads, cakes, whatever you wanna do. Well, there you go. Home processed acorn flour.
All right, the home processed acorn flour is ready to go. Turned out fantastic, really easy to do. If I can do it, you can do it. Acorns are a great source of protein and healthy fats and carbohydrates among uh, other uh, minerals that are very healthy for you. And they are very abundant. So go out there, gather some acorns and make your own acorn flour. Just a quick note, for storage, you wanna store this in a cool, dark place. I store mine in the fridge. If you leave it out where light gets to it, sometimes it can get moldy on top and you don't want it to get moldy. So there you go. I'm Matt Taylor. This has been another episode of In the Kitchen with Matt. Thank you for joining me. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or requests, put them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thumbs up, down in the corner, push it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Take care.